Hello and welcome to Arsenal Official TV. Here you'll find some of the latest stories and news about the Gunners. Arsenal still gunning for Dusan Vlahovic. Dusan Vlahovic is still at the top of Mikel Arteta's list of transfer targets for January as Arsenal refuse to let the striker slip through their fingers. Latest reports say an improved cash bid plus player has again been put on the Fiorentina negotiating table. Arsenal have now offered close to 70 million euros for Dusan Vlahovic and offered current loan player Lucas Torreira to them to sweeten the deal. The Gunners are keen to secure a deal for the Serbian this month, with the North London club having to pull out all the stops to sign the world-class striker. Fiorentina already know they are going to lose their best asset this month and now are looking for an enormous price for him rather than let his contract run down any more and his value decrease. The Serie A club have been unable to get Vlahovic to sign an extension and are reluctant but need to sell in this window to maximise their opportunities. Arsenal are the front runners and want him no matter the cost and are willing to hand over Lucas Torreira in order to secure their man. It looks like the Uruguayan has no longer a future at the Emirates since joining Fiorentina on a season-long loan deal in the summer. Fiorentina already have the option to buy the midfielder at the end of the season, but Arteta will hand him over for free now if he can get his hands on Vlahovic. Ian Wright has told his former club to get Vlahovic no matter what it takes. Arsenal have done fantastic business up until this point, Wright said on the Kelly and Wrighty show. I believe they do need to get another striker, even if everything can be sorted with Aubameyang. I'm hearing Vlahovic from Fiorentina. We need that player, who can be between Lacazette and Aubameyang. I don't know what's happening with Laka. I'd love him to stay. I don't know what's happening with him, and we don't know what's happening with Aubameyang. But if we can get that striker, that hard-running striker who is good at the link-up play and is a good finisher, which Vlahovic is, then you're starting to think it's starting to happen now for Arsenal. Former Arsenal man Nigel Winterburn also reckons Vlahovic is the right player for the Gunners. We're being linked with a lot of young strikers, but I do like Vlahovic from Fiorentina because he looks like he can offer something different, ex-fullback Winterburn told Paddy Power. He scores all sorts of goals. He takes penalties, he scores from close range and from the edge of the box. He's left-footed and he's powerful and strong. There seems to be a big push from Arsenal and he's the one name that keeps coming up. It will be interesting to see how that develops, but like everything, if he does come to Arsenal, I'm only interested in what he does when he's at our football club. He will be an interesting signing. Arsenal have had a tumultuous start to 2022, beginning with their narrow defeat to Manchester City, followed by a shock exit from the FA Cup, Caribou Cup action, injuries, illnesses and suspensions, as well as fixtures being postponed. They could well do with a player of Vlahovic's ilk, but it seems that the player is still not convinced that Arsenal can offer him what he's looking for. This attitude may not sit well with Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta, who has already stated his stance on signing new players. In an interview in 2020 with Ian Wright, he said, The moment we mention Arsenal, Ian, you know what it means around the world. Everybody wants to come here and we have a really clear idea of what we are. It doesn't need much convincing and if they do, for me, it's not a good starting point. If I have to convince a player to stay or to join us to Arsenal... It holds me back a little bit. 
It has to be, what do we have to do? I want to play for that club and represent exactly the values and the style of play that I want. That's the kind of emotion I want to hear at the start. But what do you think? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thank you for watching Arsenal Online. Please subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest Gunners news.